Flat City 5, zigzagged. When I went back down the line, my whole frame tightened up. I couldn't wait to get a little more D in my noodle and a little red on my liniments. But my boss took the majority of dots, leaving me with, that's all? Are you getting uppity with me, Dash? I risked my lifeline to get these to the end of the line. You want to make more, you gotta deliver more color lines. They want them all up there. But I gotta keep the inventory straight, so I need a pencil with a thick noodle who can keep track of all the colors. You think you can do that, Dash? Yes, Mr. Flute, I'm your line. I'll keep track of all the color lines for you, sir. If I do that, will you spot me more dots? <laughs> you do that, and you'll be lining your pockets with segments, not dots. You can make yourself really thick on that kind of payment. You might even get some color on you. <laughs> Line me up. I'll do it. With that, I was aligned to a particular job. The lines we got were often too long to carry. The only way to cut them in half was to throw them across the tracks. When the A line or the B line went over them, they split and you could then carry those smaller segments. I needed some help in my new position. Psst. Hey, Zig! Zig! Hey, what's the storyline, Dash? You want to earn a few more dots? Buy Zag some lipstick? Oh, I'd like that, honey. <laughs> you, you've got my straight up attention. What is it, Dash? Tonight, meet me at the dumpster behind Mr. Flute's office. That night, Zig helped me carry a bundle of sticks to the A-line tracks. We were just placing them so that they would break in half easily. When the A-line approached, you could feel the vibration of the tracks humming through all the wires in your telephone pole. It was stringing me out, so I knew it was close. Come on, Zig, let's get out of the way. Be sure, Dash, but too many of these ones won't get cut. They're sticking out too far from the tracks. You can see that. Zig, don't worry about them. Let it go. What? You just going to erase our profit line? I'll be straight with you, Dash. The bottom line is I need all the dots I can get. I'm on a thin ice pick with Zag, and he says he may split with me, unless I find a beam of support for our lifelines. This is it, as far as I can tell. We'll find Zig, get split in half then, see if I care. The A-line's a coming. I'm not splitting my dots with you on this bundle. <laughs> no way. I knew why Zig did what he did. We lines were desperate. A little more D always made the thin life on the line just a little thicker with hope. While Zig pushed the lines in place to splinter on the tracks, his shank got stuck. Then while trying to unstick himself, he caught another limb under the other. Dash! Dash! Zig! Zig! A split second later. Zig got sagged. He snapped in two, splintering his limbs. Zig was now a dead line, and he was also a red line, like me. Red came out of his two half lines, red from his veins, his bloodline. I began to connect the dots. The color sticks I'd been carrying over were all just limbs of flatline streaks and strokes. Color came from the blood of lines. The 2Ds and the 3Ds used 1Ds to thicken and paint themselves. We were the skeleton of the universe itself. I could see red because that was the color of my own bloodline. Other streaks and strokes bled other colors. Whatever color you bled, you could see. The D I wanted more of was the fabric that wove together a threadbare universe. I sucked on several cancer sticks that night. 
I tried my best to comfort Zag. It didn't work. I didn't care if I was erased or not. The world of Flat City looked all red to me. It was a city built on murder. When the sun lines first appeared along the horizontal axis, I knew which direction I was heading. Up, up, and away. Whatever enemy lines I had to cross, I was going to make it to the 3Ds. I'd flatline as many lines as I needed to get there. I was not going to be smeared onto the cheeks of a broad stroke or some slim gym. I wasn't going to be a pencil pusher. Not anymore. Anyone who crossed my line, I'd erase. I would smear them all if I needed to. If... I needed to.